Hello people, this is Power here with a review of the Ultraman Rube DX Rube Crystal Set 01 or 1. Um, as always with Ultraman, we always have sets for our gimmicks just because, um, you know, they need a way of releasing them. So obviously with Orb, we got the Fusion Cards and Jeed, we got the Capsules. And continuing from Jeed, um, we got the Rube Crystals. What I mean by that is that it comes in a set of four, because obviously, if you know from the fusion cards, it came in a set of six. Um, but the capsules start with a set of four. So, set one includes Ultra 7, G Primitive, Black King, and Grugio Bone. And the back just shows um, the functionalities of each. And it says that you can use Ultra 7 and the Rube Slugger, which we'll be taking a look after um as you can tell the packaging of these are weird because they just um they literally sit from this thing and the sides say say ultraman rube you can't read that ultraman rube and tx rube crystal set one so basically like the way you have to open these is like, it's weird. Um, I'm just going to short for this video just because, why not? So obviously there's a plastic tray and then you get the cardboard, but you still see the cards or the crystals are in there. Because you have to dig from back here and then you have to like grab the fins individually and then pull them out. Okay, so here are the four crystals out of their packaging, and I'm just going to say it's way easier taking them out than putting them back in. Anyways, so we're moving these three out of the side. Let's look at Ultra 7 first, because um, he's technically the important one of this set. Um, so, as you can see, um, there's Ultra 7. I'm pretty sure that just says Ultra 7, and I, from what I remember from the wiki, this is Blade, or the Kanji at least. And I really like his background. It's... Um, I can't really say anything um, after for the next one. I'll explain it, but I just really like his background. Um, his is a, his is technically white, so Russell formation. If I can actually click it, blue formation, and all of them, and he is B zero two or B zero zero two. Jeed Primitive, um, I think it was kind of obvious he had to be in the first set because he was the Ultra of last year. And I don't know his kanji that says Ultraman Jeed Primitive or just Jeed. Um, I really like his background because it's really reminiscent, I can't pronounce that word, of his transformation. Like, I really like the lightning and such. It's such a, it's a really nice touch. And if I'm compare, um... This is Taro. I think they're the same shade of, or the same red plastic for these, so. Also, formation. Blue formation. And then, all of them. And he is B052. Now, Let's look at our first kaiju crystal. Um, I honestly, I would just say I would have liked if one kaiju crystal at least came with the gyro, but oh well. So this one's Grugio Bone. I really like his illustration. It's pretty neat. And as you can tell from kaiju crystals, um, instead of the white on the back, it's now um, black. So... And because um, with Kaiju Crystals, they don't have a Russell or Blue formation, so this is how you're going to insert them. So I'm just going to flip them all out, because technically that's their secondary mode. And he is B068. Last but not least, one of my favorite Kaijus, because of Ginga, Black King. Um, he's represented in green. Um, I think he was actually always green. Never mind. 
but I don't know. I just Ginga, like when I saw him Ginga, I just really liked him. Probably because he's very very similar to Godzilla. I don't know, but then again, in Ultraman they had a kaiju that literally was Godzilla just repainted. <laughs> he is B088. So let's get a rib jar. Here goes nothing. So we're gonna put Ultra 7 in first, Russell formation. I really like the lights for 7, and as you can tell, that's the transformation for 7, just without the J. And I don't, I don't know if this is new, but then again, if we do a second pull. It's just the transformation again. Like, I think... For this toy, they have all new sounds, but they're not technically new. <laughs> because um, the sounds in here aren't as clear as the previous two toys. Anyways, blue formation. It's still the same sound, if you were expecting something. Uh, yeah. So basically, um, with... If you couldn't tell from my Spacium Zeperion crystal over here, um, if it's not associated with Rosso or Blue, they play their transformation sound, but that's all it. So, um, oops, yeah. Um, so, I guess you can assume what's going to happen with Jeed. So, Russell. That's actually really cool because obviously I don't have the Jeet Riser, so what's actually cool is hearing them Jeet Primitive. It's just that that one, in my opinion, isn't not as memorable. And I guess you can assume what's going to be the second pull. So obviously if you can tell there's no they don't have a they don't have finishers programmed. So um obviously I'm not that um upset about that. I'm actually again I'm okay with the fact that they don't have it because like you know technically this is a completely new system. It's not using the same system as the Orbringer G Driser. So yeah. Um, I like... I'm trying to figure out what the lights of the first one were. I think I'm gonna say I think most of for most of these Ultramen for the Rosso formation the light combination just works better. I'm gonna look at the box back at the box again. I forgot what his was. Yeah, 
Because the thing is that, um... It's just, like, red, like, you know, like, the red and red obviously make red and white. It's just, like, obviously because these Ultramen are red, so I just think it, the uh, white combination for Rosso just works better. Anyways. So, that's basically it for, um, the Ultramen here. Like I said with the Kaijus, all you actually have to do is just insert them like this. You can flip these out, but, um, they're programmed to not do anything like these kaiju ones like ka kaiju combinations are programmed so that this button doesn't really matter so so we get a new kaiju standby So basically, um, what the kaiju is, um, all the kaijus are purple, but, um, the top color is still the color of the kaiju. Um, the camera is not picking it up that well, but this is basically what the color is. The red and purple because basically what it does it mixes it but when it spin when the star map spins um it mixes them more so anyways last week black king I really like the green and purple. Like on camera, it's looking blue. Unless when I edit it, it's actually looking purple. But, um, yeah, basically, as you can tell, they both have different sounds. But basically, it's just because Gertrude Bone is special because it's actually new kaiju from the series obviously black king has been in the series for a while and basically um if it's not anything original from rube um they actually all have the same sound because it's the sound that it's playing is basically the summoning sound and then it'll end on their roar so yeah overall i actually really like this set it, it's a pretty nice selection of crystals obviously ultra 7 and jeed um, obviously Ultra 7 because of the Rube Slugger, Jeed because he was the previous Ultraman, um, and these two just being the Kaijus from the first two episodes, like, again, that's pretty neat. I know, like, now, like, I know the huge issue with Rube's toy line is that, you know, the crystals look nice and such, but they, the Rube Gyro doesn't do much because it's using a new system, which is basically... The situation of Qtamas, just, you know, like the fact that you don't get a lot of sounds out of the crystals, you technically only get the announcement sound and the transformation sound, and with the kaijus, you get the announcement sound and the summoning sound. Like, kaijus, they're technically always the same, but with the ultras this year, obviously, like, the sounds have been reduced. And honestly, like what I said, I'm being really optimistic about this line. So, I don't really find an issue with that. Now, the Rube Gyro Saki Beautification version. I don't, I don't know if that's actually its name. I thought it was just the Mitsurugi Saki version. But anyways, her version of the Gyro has the finishers. I'm just going to say that right now. So, if you complain about the Rube Gyro not having finishers, go get the Saki. Rube, Saki's Rube Gyro. That's all I'm going to say. Um, because, like, with this line, it's like I'm looking, despite, despite how um, empty the line is, I'm just going to look at its positives and its, you know, again, like, because I'm going to keep repeating this, but because it's a new, complete system, complete new system, 
for Ultraman because, like, they've been working with NFC chips for, like, five years, and now they're going on to what technically, like, what Ryder and Sentai normally does. So, honestly, like, I just have to just let them free of them just using a new complete system. I know that's stupid, but I don't know. Ultraman, I just can't look at negatively. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I recommend the set. It's perfect. So, it's cheap. <laughs> Anyways, this is Power Editor, and I'll leave for people. Bye.